Okay, on the way, welcome to this FIFA 17 demo impressions video. Glad to get a, a video out for all my lovely subscribers uh, after a long sabbatical, it was like two weeks or so since I had posted a video, I think. So I've been getting adjusted to university and all that, so I do apologize, but I'll have, of course, plenty of videos for you once FIFA 17 uh, comes out. But uh, you can see I do enjoy the, the build up play, but it actually kind of is the precursor to everything else. Uh, how easy it is to get down that wing sometimes is a bit ridiculous, but that hold up play, a very nice physical play over overhaul is very good especially for the user but it does lead to the AI being a bit strange sometimes and you'll see it um, basically being a little bit too passive but it was a very nice chest down from Bugnak in the end felt very rewarding using a target man but some of the AI defending was absolutely atrocious Let's look at them dropping back so deep dropping to the six yard box that is awful. I just had to basically sweat it over two times um, to score a goal, but I'd not do so because I suck at this game. Um, but should have been an easy goal, basically, do, do some awful defending. But that was not what I was expecting. Zlatan, turn. You have just a, a shot. You have a shot right there. Take it. Uh, so I was a bit worried, you know, to see some of that happening with the uh, basically AI trying to get that perfect shot. And that defending also was awful. Uh, on this <laughs> so uh, definitely hope we get some improvements to the a AI defending so we actually have a challenge because it's going down the wing um, exploiting the awful AI defending uh, at times is, is kind of the way to go it seems like uh, it is very solid from time to time but there's some big hiccups that really affect the game you can see just had the space to go down the line at first so he decided to get into that physical play lay it off that seems to be the main thing they do uh, in the box they, they they get the ball they you know do that little physical play back up reach for someone around them then lay the ball off behind them uh, so it's been interesting to see that Rashford had a very nice uh, build up play also chesting the ball down being some nice plays some very good saves throughout the goalkeepers are very good in this game uh, it seems like throughout making some good saves both you know De Gea of course but this goalkeeper for Osaka uh, made some very good saves throughout. Just like, you see like three or four in a row right here in this little highlight. But um, I'm not harping on the game too much. It's just so I, I sorry if I come off as complaining. But it's going to get really repetitive uh, if it continues like that. You know the AI yeah, defending is like that. It's going to be too easy you just can exploit it so easily and it's not going to be that fun in all honesty as you can see another huge save from the hair like that so hopefully things get tightened up defensively because that would just it's just not looking um very tight from that then when you can see this huge gap runs over which will leave that basically the, the winger there wide open uh this was some of the worst defending i'd seen though throughout my time playing this as you can see this just the pursuit of the ball was awful. They all ran to the ball, it seemed like, and left Conte wide open. Um, it seems like they can't decide between zonal and man marking. They're stuck in between, uh, and they're also stuck in between, especially the full backs are stuck in between playing tighter to the center back or playing looser to the center back and, you know, playing even more to the wings. And, you know, seeing some of the other highlights, of course, that's an easy goal. I, I slowed it down just to show that big disconnect uh, and how much space was provided there. Uh, it, it seems like, especially once the play gets very open like this, the def defense just goes ape shit. They don't know what they're doing. They run around like chickens with their heads off or whatever the saying is. You know, that, that can get a bit um, repetitive, you know, having that type of play throughout. Um, some some good play here, but it is, again, the same kind of stuff. You could just play it back in two, two, you know, sweats in a row, two triangles in a row, and that should be a goal, basically. And see, again, uh, you know, f being afforded the space, but being very strange on the ball, I thought Pogba, the animation was very weird. Um, but uh, focusing, again, on this disconnect. So, uh, as I said, sometimes the, left, the fullbacks play a little bit too deep as you can see checks over to the man William is not even making a run no reason for him to be that far away he, he, he like made a little hitch as he was going to step up to try to track William's run but uh he wasn't even making a run so he leaves this gigantic space there for a very easy goal of course these mistakes happen in real life but they're happening to me a lot <laughs> now scoring a lot of easy goals because of it so uh so i started to notice that for a while i mean i am a sim type of player so 
maybe you guys don't care, but I care because I like not having a repetitive game that's going to get boring after two or three months for me. Um, yeah, it's for video and entertainment sake is especially, I would like to see some nice improvements throughout. But uh, the passing does feel very crisp. I like the passing in this game. It's it's very nice. I think the, the weight at the moment is very good. I hope they don't increase you know, the, like the pass speed um, for the game. And it stays at the threshold it is. I think it's at the perfect balance. We can see just cutting in, playing the ball over top out the wing is very powerful. It seems like it's going to be, the majority of the game is going to be played out there in my opinion um, once people start seeing the exploits and learning how to exploit the game. Um, but if, yeah, <laughs> as you can see now this weird disconnect again, but this time Marcelo decides to check in, which absolutely leaves this run wide open. Robin sees it and there's no reason for Marcelo to defend like that, but he defended like that and I sort of nice goal in the end I mean that's a very good finish but either way I just, I just don't want to see stuff like that happen because I want to enjoy my my experience with this game thoroughly and throughout but um, I probably am yeah do seem kind of weird for breaking down the game like this I don't think this is happens too often in kind of the, the bigger mainstream like FIFA community I don't know because you guys hate sliders and stuff it seems like so this is probably a weird video for you guys but I love you I, I love you so much you're all beautiful inside and out as you can see some more play here uh, that was absolute beast save that reaction was kind of borderline superhuman but a very good save regardless uh, I actually thought this was really cool animation also not sure if it was like meant to happen uh, but you see in why I liked it in the the replay you can see uh, the defender basically locking down Dempsey uh, so you can see he's kind of locked down, then Dempsey just is able to turn, have a, basically a free run at the ball. Not sure if that was meant to happen, but if it was, that's a really cool addition from EA. Uh, as you can see some play here, uh, again going down this wing very easily, pushing up here, um, and basically had a chance to play this ball over the top. Morris would have been through, but the whistle blew. So uh, that puts an end to this borderline rant, and I'm sorry if it did come off that way, but I want the best for this game. I don't want this game to be repetitive. Uh, and there was a lot of issues with the game defensively that just really hurt my experience with it because it just got repetitive and boring after like six or seven matches. But either way, check out my second channel if you have not already. I'll be having PES, um, my club in a Master League possibly, uh, my club for sure. Then I'll be having, you know, 2K, probably some montages of some My Park gameplay. Uh, then FM, uh, as well as some Ultimate Team once uh, FIFA 17 comes out. I'll ha certainly have some Ultimate Team videos now and then. But uh, that, guys, either way, thanks for tuning in. Sorry if you don't care about my critiques of the game. But uh, just know I love you. And thanks you for tuning in. And I'll catch you guys later.